Hey YouTube, this is Fix It With Biscuit here, and uh, we're going to do that video on leveling the build plate. I put the new modified um, nuts on the bottom, so it is a hundred times easier to twist. Ditch the wing nuts. I cannot say enough about ditching those things. As soon as I put those uh, modified... Uh, nuts on here for the build plate to level it oh 100% like I love it. it it made it so much easier but um here's what we're gonna do on here uh, you have to go down and you uh, select utilities and you want to go down to where it says level build plate and it will do its little beeping and bopping and and then it says find the four knobs on the bottom of the platform and turn them four to five times and that means turn them to where it pulls the build plate down not up I don't you know it does not say that but to let you know that if you um, unscrew this build plate and it goes up four or five times then your uh, extruder nozzle, the nozzle on the extruder, will run into the side of the build plate and scrape the side of the uh, build plate or um, possibly break something. It does not let you know that, so I'm going to tell you that. I've already did it before I even started this. Um, and then now it says... In each position, we will need you to adjust two knobs at the same time okay so here we go one second alrighty I'm uh, really sorry for that it was a pretty important phone call I had to take so anyways let's uh, get back to what we're doing so it moves into the front position and what you want to use is just any copier paper you know regular paper copy paper um, that you're choosing and as you can see that there's no resistance or anything and another thing you might want to do before you start leveling and everything is check the nozzle which I always forget and make sure that there's nothing no parts extruding out of it there we go because if there's a bit of plastic extruded out of it, PLA or ABS, whatever you're printing with, um, it'll change the dimensions on leveling your build plate. So you want to make sure that it is super clean on the end there. And then we're going to adjust these front two knobs at the same time and to level it. And we want to pull them to where, like right now, you see how the paper bunches when I push it? There is ever so slightly a little bit of a drag on it. And that's where we're going to set it as. And then you do the same to the back as you can see that there's nothing touching. So, and you want to adjust them both at the same time, they say as close as you can and you see that I can't pull it because I went too far so you just screw them in a little bit and there's our drag ever so slightly and then we want to do it the same on this side and you adjust these two at the same time and there's that ever so slightly drag 
Now we move it over here. And you may have to do this a couple times to, like right now I can't pull that. I mean I can, but it's really rough. Um, you may have to do this a couple times in a row to get it pretty fine tuned. Oops, going the wrong way. Ever so slightly. And there's our drag. And then to the middle. And there's the drag. We still have our drag. Uh, that's pretty much what you want is the whole thing the same so that I can push it in and out and that's the way you level it and then uh, you're all done there before uh, as I said before this plate here was not it bowed in the middle and I took that off and bent it just ever so slightly and checked it with a straight edge and made sure that it was straight diagonal and horizontal and then even uh, from corner to corner I checked and made sure and it wasn't perfect but it was way better than it was there wasn't a dip in the middle there was slightly slightly little light which you know um, I'm gonna have to deal with because it's just a cheap bed but uh yeah this is um fix it with biscuit um i hope you like the videos so uh stay tuned for more and that's how you level the build plate on the ctc 3d printer and everybody have a good day